Hello again, Larry Satchwell here. I'm not a lawnmower mechanic, but I play one on YouTube. Seriously, this is uh, just a DIY project. Uh, the belt broke. If you own a mower, sooner or later, the belt's gonna break. And you have a couple options. You can call a mobile mechanic and have him come in, or you can haul it to the local place and have them replace it, but it's not that difficult. So I'm gonna take you to the steps to replace a belt on a 42 inch mower. Mine happens to be a John Deere X300, but they're basically all the same. The first thing I like to do is to run over, well, my blade's broken. Make sure your blades aren't going, but to run over a tarp, it just makes it this job a lot easier. And then there's a couple of pins you have to pull. But before you pull those pins, you wanna lower the deck as low as it'll go. That makes life a lot easier. So when you I'm first look at it, it looks impossible to move because it's kinda locked in there. If you get that right there and pull it out and then up, it comes off very easily. Then I like to use the same needle nose pliers and push that pin out. And sometimes it's a little tricky. One option is to pull these pins and drop this bracket. I have done that before. Found it about just as easy to manipulate the deck in such a way that it just disengages. And once it's out of the way, I just use a little duct tape. To hang it off. So these brackets are still down in there so I've got to remove those. I found that if I just step on my deck thing so that lowers the deck it takes those up and out of the way so those are no longer an issue. And this is where the tarp comes in really handy. This is just a dollar store tarp but I think it's going to be strong enough. But now I can pull it out and I'll be able to pull that back in. To put this on, you're gonna need a couple of wrenches, a 15 millimeter and a 13 millimeter. The 13 millimeter will take off this cover. And it will also loosen this little thing here. You've got two bolts to take move here. One of them you just loosen, but the other one you'll have to take out completely. So this bar is movable. Then the 15 millimeter, there's not room to get this between here, so you're going to have to loosen both of these. I, of course, do not have a deep socket for that. So I, my solution to that is to put it on and barely engage it here, but that's enough. You need to be able to move the belt between these little things here, so it's got to come off pretty, pretty far. And I'll do the same over here. There's these two little keeper bars on either side, and you've got to be able to maneuver the belt between them. I think that'll work to get the belt. Pretty man. There it is. In reality, it's been a couple of days since I had the mower out. Been waiting for this part. The people I bought the mower from, Egg Pro, are less than two miles, less than three miles from here. This came from Egg Pro. This came from Quitman, Georgia. I refused to step in the store. They messed around with my mower for nine months. Nickel and dime me to death. I had to buy new coils. I had to buy a new battery. They said it was the gas tank, uh, gas uh, cap, so I had to buy a new gas cap. It would run for 
10, 15 minutes, or maybe even an hour, and then it would stop. And they kept moving me back and forth. I'll never step in that store again. I took it to Gwinnett Moore's, Gwinnett Moore Repair in Snellville. They diagnosed the problem. It was a $10 part inside the carburetor. This worked perfectly for 18 months since until this belt broke. This is a John Deere M154621 original belt. So let's get on the more. I do want to mention before I put the belt on here, it's a lot easier. I did take this off, take the blades off, sharpen them, clean out the pan, check for any damages. So those are all sharp, ready to go. It's time to turn it back over and get the belt on. The first place it's got to go is around this pulley right here. Now you say, how are you going to get it around that pulley? Well, this is a 3 8 inch socket. And by putting a little leverage on there, it'll open that up and you can put that right in. The diagram's on here. From there it's going to go in here and that's why you had to loosen this keeper. Over here, it's going to go in here. It's a great time to put that keeper back on. That's the number 13. Metric. I told you I wasn't a motor mechanic, and I'm sure some of you caught that. When you're putting this one back on, I, there's a little notch under here that that keeper goes in. And I didn't have it in there. This time I do. And you may have noticed if you are a lawnmower mechanic that this pulley wasn't moving. Now I discovered that too. And that's very disconcerting because that pulley's supposed to move. I had the bushing in backwards. And I believe there is a little space, a notch in the deck for this keeper to go into. So, all is well now. That pulley moves and that pulley moves. That part of the belt goes on the powertrain takeoff. PTO. Time to put this cover back on. So a quick check of everything. That's right. To make this a little easier, I'm going to move the mower to the other side. While this deck is off, there's one more thing I want to do, and that's grease the bearings. That's one of the advantages on this John Deere. This model has these pulleys that you can grease and that makes them go a lot longer. Well I've got the grease gun in my hand I'll go ahead and grease the front axles. So I've got it moved to the other side. I've got my tarp under it. I moved it to the other side because it has this handle on this side. Nothing on that side. What I'm going to do is try to shove this under here as far as I can. And then with this tarp, I can reach under and pull the whole unit over. It's time to take the tape off of this. I could have taken these pins out and I may in fact need to. I can grab a hold of the tarp and keep maneuvering it. Until it falls into place. Now it's time to replace those pins. So I get this hole, get this hole lined up with that hole. And I don't know how to hold the camera and do that at the same time. I'll be back in a minute. That was actually quite easy to do since I wasn't holding the camera. 
so much easier to do without holding the camera. And there it is. So do you remember that little 3 8 inch square box I showed you? That's where this comes into play. And you want to make sure that the belt is on top of the wrench, not under it. Don't ask me how I know that. Here, I'm putting a scrap piece of PVC pipe on my wrench. That gives me a lot of leverage. And in fact, it's long enough I can put it behind my waist because this is a bit of a stretch to get this belt on. Most of the videos I've seen don't show you how to get this belt on. But I've got this PVC all the way back behind my body. And with that, the belt goes on very easily. That's the power takeoff right there. So the belt's on. Tight. That's tight. Everything should Pins work. Are in so I can lift the deck and lock it. I'll pull the tarp out. Engage the belt. <laughs> I just like to run it for a short couple of minutes, check it out. Thankfully, I didn't hear any big crashes. There you have it. I hope that helps you. It's not that hard to do, but it is a pain. Just look at it. It looks impossible to move because it's kind of locked in there. But. If you use the needle nose pliers and grab the bottom part here, I wish I didn't have to film this and do it at the same time. But if you get that, you can. <laughs> Something's biting my leg. Ow, something's biting me. 